Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Oh my gosh, this has to be my most exciting video for myself, that is. <laughs> and hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. Um, today we're gonna be talking about HTV, uh, heat transfer vinyl, but something a little extra. Anyway, before I get to it though, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And all right, here's the big announcement. So we're gonna be using the first color in my HTV line. So HTV, it's uh, with Heat Transfer Warehouse, presented by Polytape. Um, I'm super excited to come out with my own line of HTV. And it all came about because, um, as you can see here, these were the curated cardstock selection that I had for skin tones, right? Because it's kind of difficult to find the right ones for all the different characters. And then I realized when we were doing this that, um, you know, a lot of times with party uh, crafters, we make t-shirts to go along with the birthdays. And I started researching skin tone colors that are available and lo and behold there's not that much available it's all off the shelf um most of the companies that we pulled we bought from three different ones and they all use caesar uh, which is great but the colors are what they already have on stock so if you can believe it two of the brands literally have white black and gold um as skin tone colors like white white i'm not really sure other than doing Olaf, I, I don't even know. Um, so anyway, um, when I saw that and two of the companies that we pulled um, out of the seven colors, they each offered the same six colors from Caesar. And then, you know, the, the seventh color was, you know, a, another one off. So anyway, um, so we came out with these colors to match the cardstock. So let me show you what we have in the cardstock. And let me kind of put this in the order um, that it comes in so that you can kind of get a feel for it. And I'm going to talk about the characters because I think you guys associate more with um, being able to, to put the color to uh, the character so that you can um, kind of picture it because I, you know, I did eight separate characters to show these colors. Yeah, there we go. There's my eight. My line of eight. So this first one, and today we're actually gonna do Snow White. So this is Snow White. This was my avatar. This was Frida, Tiana, I believe Doc McStuffins. Um, I can't remember all my characters. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave that aside while I pull my characters because now I can't remember. Oh, I did Queen Bee. Queen Bee um canary was this one and this one's it was sam so those are my characters all right so the matching htv htv under the htv collection you're gonna see it now and you know i am really 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 happy with these colors i love that oops hold on Um, if you're looking at the browns, I love that we were able to get, oops, I mixed those two up. Like just a little bit of a difference between the tones. And I understand this is, you know, like just the beginning and it's a great first step, but I am super happy with this and I, I don't have it all ready. But I'm going to bring over the board just so that you can get a quick little peek at this, okay? This is what I'm working on, but I'm going to pull off the names because I don't want to... Um, so these are the colors that are available, okay? So let me zoom out for a second. Oops, wrong way. So the far right here, these are my colors. So you can see there's a, I feel like it's a, a really good range. And you can see the first color that we're starting with that I will be using for Snow White. It, what I found with the cardstock was we needed pink, like a pink undertone. Otherwise it looked really pale and kind of almost, um, almost scary. Um, I've done where it's too cream-ish. 
um, and too pale and bland. So you can see right here, if you're looking at this, this is white. <laughs> so we know we can't use white. I don't know who you would use that for, like I said. Um, and I know there's a glare. But, you know, there's some colors on here that are really um, sketchy. Like, I'm not sure who is gold. Um, this one literally has, you know, these two have black and then the white. Um, and it, the browns are nice. Um, but we have that too, and I feel like we have a, a good range of them. Um, I feel like up here though, the lighter skin tones, we don't really have a good comparable um, match for that. So I'm excited to be able to show you that. These are also different because they were, um, they were actually mixed. So these are colors that we looked at, you know, Pantone swatches and did a lot of a lot of work and rework and rework to get these colors to match the colors that we were seeing with characters on screen so um i i'm just i know i'm at a loss for words because i'm so excited about it and i hope you you're excited too so these are different because these are printed colors and i'm going to show you how to apply them um it's like a printed htv so you know your buffalo plaid or your camo, it's gonna work the same way. Um, so, ah, <laughs> I'm just excited. This, I feel like this line, when I first saw it, I thought, oh, it's so pretty, but this is really yellow. Um, this one is, this one's, it's pretty. These, I feel like some of these colors are really pretty. Um, but this line reminds me more of lip gloss colors and it's not, I'm not, and that's not a bad thing. It's beautiful. Um, I just don't know if it translates as well to skin colors, but, um, you know, that's out there. Like I said, these are off the wrap, off the, um, off the shelf Caesar colors. Um, you can just go on there and order. Um, when you look up these other companies, you can see that they selected, you know, eight, seven to eight colors from Caesar and they'll tell you which colors like chocolate, black, white, gold, um, so that you can check these colors out. I think they're a great compliment to, some of these colors are a great compliment to what is out here. So, all right, let's get started. I'm gonna put this aside. Okay, so I'm actually not putting it on a shirt today. I'm gonna put it on a canvas board. So I wanted to try, oops, hold on. Here we go, just so that we can zoom in a little bit. So I'm gonna move these, um, these swatches out of the way and I hope you think that they're beautiful too I'm just super excited about these colors okay so um, what you're gonna notice is because it's printed vinyl printed HTV um, you don't mirror the image because it's going to cut and then you need a transfer paper to kind of just like vinyl almost right where you need to transfer it so you're gonna take this sticky paper and get a transfer and then we're gonna put it down. So we're gonna be making like a, as if it was a Snow White birthday party. And so I'm going to put down Charlotte's fifth birthday with the silhouette of Snow White there. I'm gonna put this padding underneath because you know, this is empty, so I want to make sure that I can press against it. Okay, so I'm going to put it down like that. Okay. And... All right, so... I'm going to press just a little bit. Just enough to kind of get everything down. We'll see if, you know, if it needs more, more time. All right, so. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to heat up my mini because I think I need to give it more time here. Then the next layer I'm going to do is the red because I think the red will help me 
place all my other pieces. And yeah, it's coming out over here. So I'm actually gonna get a whole Teflon sheet. All right, let's press this. And this right here comes with the package when you order it. So super excited to get your thoughts. That's what this, the, that sheet is, is just make sure to tag us on your projects because we wanna see what you make with these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors. All right, here we go. Oh, the lips didn't stay down. Yeah, I'm gonna get the mini. Just to give it more heat in certain areas. Um, all right. Okay, so. Yeah, that's not coming up, okay. All right, we're just gonna give it a little bit more time, but look at that red bow. That red bow is really pretty on there. All right, so we've got that. We've got all our, I mean, Snow White is an easy one to do. She only has a couple of colors. And then we'll put the face down. It should look really good. And the reason why I'm doing it on the canvas is I wanna use the other two um, from the other, if you remember, Two out of the three companies literally have the same colors. So I wanna do two more using the lighter shade that we would use for a Snow White, for instance, so that you can see the comparison and what a difference it makes to have the right colors for the skin tone. So, so, so excited. Um, So where can you get it? Uh, it's, like I said, a heat transfer warehouse. Um, the links are everywhere in the description on my website on all my social media accounts You could go there and order um, What it doesn't come with is that transfer sheet because they also sell plenty of other printed um, HTV HTV and so um, You can buy it separately or if you already have it at home, then you can use that the other thing that you can use too is you can use heat transfer tape um, you can also use um, like an old HTV, like when you you know go to weed something and you have excess. I would use that too. You can transfer that as well. All right, here we go. So this a little bit more heat there. Let's see if that got it a little bit more. Yep. more of what I wanted and needed. Okay, the T is down, but not the other colors. So let's get, the, or the other letters. And I will be pressing shirts um, as well. So it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> okay, here we go. push this down just to get it to stick a little bit we'll press it at the end yeah I think it needed a little bit extra help right there it's not down yet give it first actually I'm gonna cut this off so that it doesn't keep pulling up my B All right. I'm definitely not putting enough pressure on this because it's canvas and I know I'm not gonna be ironing it or washing it so that's 
part of the problem. All right, there we go. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna do the white. This looks so weird without her face in there. <laughs> um, you know, I'm almost wondering, do we do, let's do this one first. That way we can take apart the white if we need to, if it doesn't line up. Look how pretty that is. Okay, um, let's get this Teflon sheet down. And the printed vinyl is a warm peel. So, um, you know, I used to not pay attention to the different temperature peels. It, may, it actually makes a huge difference um, when you're pulling it up, so. Just keep that in mind. Look how pretty that color is. She is princess ready. All right, I have a little buckle. Oh no, did I lose my buckle? <sighs> I might have lost my buckle. Oh no. All right, here we go. I'm gonna put my buckle down. So this one I cut, you know, hard uh, through the carrier sheet because I figured I could press it with something else, with another color. And I know things are falling all over the place. I've got the uh, brown of the eyes and we've got just a few more, just a few more things to press. So let's put this down and see if this lines up perfectly. That down, okay. It's a little bit more. I'm just gonna give it a second and then I'm gonna pull it off. <clears throat> okay. All right, so all we have left is the brown of her eyes. So I think it's this way. Oh my gosh. The the color is so pretty. So you can see like there's there's a pink undertone and oh my gosh. I absolutely love it. I hope you love it as much as I do. Let me know if you have any questions, but it's pretty easy. It's just a little bit different because it's printed, but it's special that it's printed because we got to pick all these colors, um, you know, to really match. So anyway, thank you for your support as always. And I, you know, am dying to hear your comments and questions. Let me know. <laughs> Bye guys.